It's your boy again back at you with another video. Your boy Dreddy copy cleaning train with Dreddy. Yo, ass it, people. Eh? What's really going on, man? Today, what I gotta do, I gotta do some repairs. This is what you call a J bar repair. Alright? Now, the interesting about these here, sometimes it can be really tricky putting them in if the concrete is not hard and strong. A lot of times you got to use like, you know, a maximum amount of nails, man. And you got to use concrete nails. Really, I should be using wood nails. But anyway, getting this out is a little process. Um, these things been in there for years. I'm using the long, the long tip flathead. I find that, you, you know, using that is really, really good, especially for, for torque. You know what I mean? That's like what I'm using it for right there. You know, one of them big boy flatheads. I think every toolkit needs one of those. You know what I'm saying? They, I mean, they, 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 could, they could do some damage. They get things done. So what I'm doing right now is just basically taking it up from the subfloor and I'm going to replace it. Okay. Um, after a while, these have a tendency to have a, like a crack in the back of them all right and over time depending you know the use in the house they start coming apart you know so we basically just gonna you know put another one right in there slap it in there call it a day but before that i need the shears i go in my toolkit my shears is not in there so you know i had to take a little trip but yeah guys hope you you know what i mean y'all been safe out there it's been a crazy month. I don't know what's going on with these shootings, man. They need to, they, they need some home training. All right, everybody. It's no excuse. Yeah, guys, so you really got to make sure you measure these things properly. All right. So when you cut them, you cut them the right size. OK, drop that baby in, make sure everything is centered. And, you know, then you got to deal with the part that I'm telling you about. Now, you would think just nailing it to the floor. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And that's it. No. The concrete, I found out um, that, you know, that subfloor, it was real porous. Um, so I really had to use, you know, probably like what, at least 14 nails for that opening. That opening was, I think, what, like four and a half feet. So definitely make sure it's secure in there. You don't want nobody to trip um, as, as deep as possible. Those J bars, you got to nail them over the over the carpet at the edge. Um, it's more. I think it's like a half an inch over. Um, and yeah, we stretch the carpet. Make sure there's no ripples. Make sure it's really nice and tucked. And, uh, you know, trim what needs to be trimmed. Um, definitely, you need your kicker and your steer tool. All right, that the, the, the steer tool is what's going to get up on inside the crevice of the J bar to make sure the carpet is tucked inside the J bar. So yeah.
yeah so that's what i want to see i want to see it secure um with my eyes i could see some of it was still rising so i had to like really get it in there man even i had to even put like two nails over the carpet inside the carpet you know but see it's holding <laughs> at least until i'm gone <laughs>